Hi, I'm Jane, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. <laughs> and I'm going to be writing a letter to past me. <laughs> Dear past me, you're probably sitting in your room right now wondering why you said yes to leaving everything you've ever known behind to go live with people you've never met for four months. On top of that, you're staring at a pile of clothes that you're being told won't pack themselves. <laughs> well, you're going to go a long way from there. So it won't happen fast. The first few days will be awkward, like incredibly awkward. <laughs> but don't worry, that will change. You'll learn how to put on snowshoes and what to even do in the snow. You'll make a lot of crazy snow people and make snow angels in the parking lot. In the hills of Maine, sitting in a hut, sipping hot chocolate, you'll learn that these 16 people you've just met will become lifelong friends. You'll laugh so hard, you'll pee your pants, and cry so hard, your eyes will burn. But that's all part of it. You'll go on some crazy adventures together, some of them farther than others. I know it sounds crazy, but you'll go on a week-long camping trip, and you'll learn to love camping. You'll venture into Canada and smell the fresh scent of universal health care. <laughs> <laughs> and then return to your expedition homeland of East Machias, <laughs> and more importantly, take a visit to the legendary Pat's Pizza on a particularly cold and rainy night. You'll also learn how to make top-notch camp food when it's not raining. Other adventures will take you closer to your new home, like going to the farm and hanging out with Franklin the baby cow, Moose the barn cat, Annie the baby sheep, and unforgettably the baby goats. You'll bike to the playground up the road and break the swing set, and then have to be picked up in the van. Other days you'll attempt to sled down snow piles in the parking lot before coffee house. Oh, and you can't forget walking Bella, your Spanish teacher's dog. <laughs> even in the farmhouse, you'll have some amazing adventures, even if they're little ones. You'll learn that dancing in the year is a sacred thing. You'll have memoirs with your English teacher in the dining room, and scheme pranks with your marine science teacher. <laughs> you'll learn the difficulties and beautiful things about group bonding. The little yellow farmhouse will soon become your home. You'll discover that if you sit in the same field every day for 20 minutes in complete silence, you can observe so much about the environment around you. You'll observe beautiful birds like you've never seen or heard before. You'll see the beauty of the mud flats as they fade into ocean daily and learn to love Maine like you never thought you could before. You'll study mollusks in ways you never even thought were possible <laughs> and drive yourself crazy memorizing scientific names and racing to finish lab reports. But that's okay, you'll get through it. You'll work harder than you ever have in school, but you'll love what you're learning and you'll be doing interesting and important assignments. You'll get into arguments and get angry, but you'll work through it and you'll learn from it. Don't get discouraged by this. Things happen, but you'll always find a solution to deal with them. You're stronger than you think. You'll sing your heart out in the vans and dance like no one is watching. You'll come out of your shell and learn that it's okay to open up to people. You'll be able to make friends. I know right now you're nervous about making friends. You don't think you'll be able to. But you won't just make friends. You'll have 15 new sisters. Cherish every moment. Every second is precious. You'll do so much more than study and have conversations. You'll go to the mud flats and get covered in mud all over your white jacket. But don't worry, it'll wash out. You'll cry, but you'll have 15 shoulders to cry on. This semester will be the time of your life, and it will go by so, so fast. Embrace everything, take every challenge head on, have the time of your life. You'll never want summer to come. I know, who doesn't want summer? Trust me, you won't. You'll understand soon. You'll travel home 3,000 miles away, feeling empty inside, but that's okay. You'll get through it, because you'll be able to FaceTime your new sisters every day, and life will continue, and you'll go on to do great things, I know it. So get up, go pack those clothes, you made the right decision. Mm -hmm.